I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my video on calculus. We will discuss related rate with the help of an example. A weather balloon with radius 9 meters springs a leak, losing air at 171 pi meter cube per minute. Find the rate of decrease of the radius after 4 minutes. So let me give you the formulas here. We are talking about a spherical balloon so volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube right? we are given that the initial radius is 9 so radius is 9 meters now we need to find rate of decrease in radius that means dr dt when time is 4 minutes when t equals to 4 minutes now when we say that it's losing air at 171 pi meter cube per minute, so that is change in volume. So we'll say dv dt is equal to negative since it is losing 171 pi meter cube per minute. Perfect. Now to find this rate of change of radius with t equals to 4, we should know what the radius is at t equals to 4 right so that is the first thing we should know so we'll begin to find radius at t equals to 4 so that is the first part of our question how do we do that now we know that initially the radius is 9 meters so the the volume is basically 4 by 3 pi r cube, it is 4 by 3 pi, r is 9 meters, 9 cube, right, minus, it is decreasing at this rate, 171 pi per minute. So in 4 minutes, what is going to be the volume? Times 4. So that is the decreased value of the volume. So this is volume when when t equals to 4. Is that clear to you? That is extremely important to understand. Perfect. So let's use calculator and find the value. So it is 4 by 3. So pi is common. Okay. So let's use calculator. So we have 4 divided by 3 times 9 cube equals to 972. And from this, we'll take away 4 times 171. So we get 288. So this is 288 pi. So the volume after t equals to 4 minutes is 488 pi. Correct? Now if that is the volume, what is the radius? We can write volume as 4 by 3 pi r cube correct since the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube and actual value is 288 pi what is r so we can find r cube as 288 pi times 3 over 4 pi correct so let's calculate this let's cancel perfect and uh, as far as 4 is concerned, 4 goes, goes uh, 4 times 7 is 28, 72 times. Right, so, so we get R cube as 72 times 3. So R is equal to cube root of 3 times 72, which is 216. So let's find cube root of 216, which is so we will finding cube root of 3 times, I can write 3 times 72, right? That is equal to 6. So the radius is 6 when t is 4. So what we found here is that at t equals to 4, radius equals to 6, right? This is extremely important to consider. And now let's see the rate of change at this instance of time. So again, volume is 4 by 3 
pi r q. So now we can differentiate with respect to time on both sides. So we get dv dt equals to 4 by 3 pi times 3r square. So that gives you 4 pi r square dr dt, I'm sorry, dr dt. We are doing implicit derivation with respect to time, dr dt. We need to find dr dt at t equals to 4. Now, t equals to 4, radius r is 6. We know dv dt is minus 171 pi. So we know everything. We can find dr dt now. Correct? So let's substitute these values. So dv dt is minus 171 pi, 4 pi, radius is 6 square times dr dt. So this cancels. We get minus 171 over 4 times 6 square is 36 equals to dr dt. Let's use calculator to find this answer. 171 divided by within brackets 4 times 36. That gives me 19 over 16. In decimals, I could write this as 1.1875. Units being meters, we are radius, right? So meter per minute. Negative shows decrease. So we can write down our answer. Rate of decrease. Of the radius. Is my... So now no need to write minus since I have written decrease 1.1875 meters per minute. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve this question. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.